The last one was fun, don't get me wrong, but it was too short. Well, you breed him for speed. The race is gonna be short. How's Maud looking, Wendell? She gonna give Grandma a run for her money this year? Now that you mention it, I've been meaning to say something about that. Bartender! Hey, bartender, how about some service? Sheesh, what's a guy gotta do to get a drink in this dump? some beer in this mug. It's about as dry as my mouth. Hey, where's the beer? That cask probably holds beer, I would hope. The sign says, Ring for Service. I'd need to be almost twice as tall to reach that bell. It is a stool on which one can sit while enjoying a beverage. I don't need to go in the kitchen. How come these jokers haven't invented electricity yet? Hey you! You want something? Excuse me, fine sir. Are you by any chance planning on betting on the cow race? Of course I am. And who would you be betting on? It ain't none of your business. How many people would you say have come into town to bet on the race? How am I supposed to know that? Isn't there a bartender around this joint? They're not hiring. Thank you for your kind and generous help. Yes, yeah, sure. Cretan. Hey, you! Do you mind? Surely a stalwart fellow like yourself must be betting on the race. How's that your business? I was just wondering who you might be betting on. Don't see how it matters to you. I hear lots of folks come from out of town to bet on the race. I don't make a habit of keeping track of the strangers in our town. Think anybody mind if I just grab myself a drink? I wouldn't touch those taps if I were you, buddy. I leave you to your drunken wallowing. Hey, you! Uh, what is it? With your friends betting on the cow race, I'm sure you aren't gonna be left out. Heck no, I can't wait for the race! Sounds like you have a good bet lined up. Well, I... What does he have to know for? How am I supposed to get a beer around here? Just go up to the bar and ring the bell. Yeah, can't you read? What moron put the stupid bell up so high? Hey, don't talk about Lucius like that. You got a problem, stranger? How 
am I supposed to reach that dumb bell? It is kind of high. I have to stand on my tiptoes to reach it. I need your help ringing that bell. Leave him alone and ring it yourself. I can't reach it on my tiptoes. Yeah, they should really have something you can ring the bell with. Tell your friend it's disgusting to chomp on a bone with no meat on it. You want disgusting? You should try some Puanian soup. I thought we agreed not to talk about the soup. What's this soup you mentioned? Oh man, these guys come to the fair every year and they bring this soup, see? I'm trying to eat it. Enough with the soup. Tell me more about this soup. That's enough about the soup! So we all tried it, right? It was so awful, but Wendell and I got it down, huh, Wendell? Yeah, barely. But Euclid has it in his mouth and starts turning green, and then he spits it out all over the place. Ugh, I'm about to lose my appetite. Mmm, I can't wait to get some of my own soup. <laughs> Stop it. Soup. Ugh, cut it out. Soup. Ugh, I lost my appetite. Bartender, bring me a... Smiley, is that you? Howdy, howdy, howdy. It is you. Thank goodness I found you. You mean it, phony? You're happy to see Darn me? Darn right. Phone Bone wouldn't let me leave this stupid valley unless I found you first. Aw, shucks. It's good to see you too, cuz. This calls for a toast. Let me buy you a drink, old buddy. Okay by me, old pal. Here's to going home. To Boneville. So, you're in town for the cow race. Me too. There's gonna be some heavy batting going on. So I've heard. Have you been hearing things about the race? Oh, sure. I'm the bartender. I hear everything. What do you want to know? Who's taking the bets? Nobody yet. Good, good. Any idea who people are betting on? Word around town is this Grandma Ben lady is the odds-on favorite. Excellent. I got an idea that's going to make us a lot of money. Uh-oh. I hope this isn't one of those silly ideas you used to pull back in Boneville. What silly ideas? Remember the first time you got us run out of town? You opened up a chain of franchises, Bone Environmental, Nuclear Reactor, and Endless Salad Bars. That wasn't a silly idea. The lettuce wouldn't spoil for decades. Well, it was pretty silly. Whatever. We need to get you a cow suit. What? I get to wear a cow suit? Oh, cool! Tell me more, partner. So here's what we do. First, we spread rumors that Grandma Ben is too old to win the race this year. We'll cover all the bets, and then when Grandma Ben wins, we'll be rich! Of course, when Grandma Ben comes into town, everyone's gonna see she's perfectly fit, aren't they? I've got that covered with Phase 2, the Mystery Cow! Hoo-hoo, <laughs> that's got a killer ring to it! Your job is to work on finding yourself a cow suit! Oh boy, I'm all a tingle with glee. This is gonna be great. Remember, you're gonna throw the race. We want Grandma Ben to win. And then we'll be rich. Okay, I'll post some odds. Mystery cow, four to one. Grandma Ben, 60 to one. And the other cows in between that. What do you think? I think you just made that up. Of course I just made that up. We're fixing the race, remember? 
We'll split the winnings 90-10, just like always. I like the cut of your jib, mister. Yes, I know you do. Okay, one more time. I'll collect the bets, and you will... Make the cow suit! Right, we can't lose! This is gonna be easy as pie! Serve up another beer! Sure thing, buddy! Now remember, I don't want anyone to know gotcha, where to go. Cuz. No, not another one! You better be able to pay for those beers, Shorty. Dum -de -dum -dum -de -da. Relax, Goliath. I'm good for it. Just like this other idiot was good for it. You owe me two eggs and I want them now. Jeez, what a hothead. Here, take it. What's this? Two eggs, pal. What, did the price go up? Hey! Get them off. You can work off your bar tab. Nobody mutilates a mint note around me and lives to tell about it. Say your prayers, Chuckles. They don't know what money is, cuz. They use a barter system. Chuckles wants real eggs. Your butt is mine, Baldy. Smiley, why did you let me buy those beers? You know I don't carry poultry products. Uh-oh, looks like I missed some dirty glasses. I want this floor sparkling. Get to work! Hey, I got a betting booth to build. I can't... Move it! How could this be happening to me? Trying to clean here. Hey, do you mind? Don't you clowns ever wipe your feet? I don't even want to know what they've been stepping in. Eat off of. I'll stick with plates, thanks. Can I take a break now or what? Sure, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be back in a minute. I got some more fine ideas for things you can do. Unsimple people. At last, I have found you. Who, me? How do you know my name? Your cousin, Phone Bone, has awakened the Great Red Dragon for this. I will kill him. Well, wait a minute, pal. You leave Phone Bone alone. What do you care for, friends? All that matters to you is personal gain. I'm warning you, don't come any closer. We have unfinished business, you and I. Yeah? Like what? Your soul. Hey, Phony! I can't believe it. Just look at this mess. At least we're still all in one piece. I don't get it, Grandma. Why would the rat creatures attack the farm? We've been here forever, and they've never done anything like this. Not now, dear. Mr. Bone from Boneville and I have to have a little chat. But 
Be a sweetheart and put out the fire on the roof. Bone and I will pack the cart. The cart? You still want to go to the fair? Deer will be safer in town. And with any luck, we'll be able to find his cousins. Please, Thorn. We don't know if they're safe. Okay, okay. I'll take care of the roof. Come on, Bone. Grandma, how did you manage to fight off all those rat creatures when they attacked the farm? I'll ask the questions. I want to know why those monsters were after you, and I want the truth. My youthful good looks? That's not funny, Bone. They wanted to bake me in a quiche. Or well, one of them did, anyway. That's all, huh? What about that shifty cousin of yours? You think that phony bone might have had some dealings with him? No, ma'am. We don't have rat creatures back where we come from. Well, we shouldn't stick around here too long. You get the luggage loaded into the cart while I get the cow ready. Yes, ma'am. That's part of the fence. Are you okay, Thorn? Oh, hi, Thorn. I'm fine. You don't sound fine. Why would the rat creatures destroy our farm? They've never done anything like this before. I'm worried, Phone Bone. Me too. Grandma's been acting kind of funny too. There's something going on between her and that dragon. Really? I'm sure of it. What kind of thing? I don't know. But did you see the way they looked at each other last night? They're not telling us something. There's something else, isn't there? No. Well, last night I had a dream I haven't had in a long time. But it's probably nothing. If you say so. I wish there was something I could do to help you. You do help me. Just by being my friend. Gee, thanks, Thorn. I'm sorry about what happened to your house. We can fix it. I'm just worried this isn't over. Did you put out the fire on the roof? Yeah, it was just a little one. I wonder if we'll find Smiley Bone when we get to Barrelhaven. I hope so. I'd better get back to work. Okay. I'll be along in a minute.